And it's the moment we have all been waiting for. In this episode of Keeping Score, Libby and I are going to play tic-tac-toe. I'm just waiting for her to get here any second now. Don't worry. I'm on my way. <laughs> just kidding. We're sliding into something a lot more interesting. The field house at the crossover has lots to do. So Libby talked to Kristen to help us get started. Tell me what people can expect when they come here. So when you come here, the great thing about this place is you can bring your entire family, um, which is kind of the whole concept of the crossover. The field house has everything from a playground for your littles to pickleball courts for your older kiddos, volleyball courts, and it has a great open green space for your family to just kind of hang out. Is pickleball kind of popular here for people to do? Extremely. So we actually even have competitions that happen here with Austin Sports and Social. They have groups that come out here all the time, and we're actually booked quite often on the evenings and the weekends. So if you want a space, make sure you get on early. So on Wednesday nights for the holiday season, we are showing Christmas movies um, every Wednesday. And then starting next week, since kiddos are out of school, we're showing it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 6 p.m. I just feel like I should take my hair down. <laughs> As you can see, conditions were perfect for pickleball. So not even that windy out, like. I wonder who will win. I mean, win. You might be thinking why a meteorologist didn't know it was going to be quite so windy. Well, I did. Long story short, it was the only day we could go out, so we made the best out of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, our best was not so great. We would have had a hard time anyway, so 30 mile an hour winds made the game feel impossible. If you didn't watch a five minute video about the rules of pickleball like we did just before we started, you may not know that serves can't land in the center area, AKA the kitchen. Unfortunately, we could not get out of the kitchen, which is ironic because neither one of us can cook. That's it, baby. Oh. Maybe all my knowledge of wind speed and direction helped me out because I finally figured out how to drop the ball in and score some points. Use the wind at my back to win. Oh my God. Unfortunately, Libby was in a pickle trying to hit the ball. <laughs> was that a Honda or a Kia? So I am just bad at it. The raging winds got the better of Libby and I, and pretty soon it was over. It was a win for me, but it was more of a battle of the breeze than against each other. We then moved on to something with a little more weight to it in the hopes that it would be easier to manage. The wind was still a factor in this game, but Libby somehow used her Indiana corn powers to score a perfect shot. Oh, oh my gosh, Libby! It's gone! Yes. Hold. I'm ah! for you. That's three points. This one was a lot closer than pickleball, but still just as painful to watch. Son of a Dinkledorf. Yeah. Hey. Libby tried to use the wind to her advantage and had a lot of close calls. Oh my God. But in this case, slow and steady wins the race. Wow. I managed to score a point every round. Wow. Oh my God, Libby. Libby tried for a last minute comeback, but it wasn't enough. Oh the God. final score was 11 to nine. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to go head to head at some billiards. Yes, one more time. Just kidding, no. No. Our Christmas gift to you is that you will never watch us play pool ever again. Yes, and it's also a Christmas gift to us because I feel like we've already embarrassed ourselves enough today. Yeah, no, you are the winner. You're taking home a point, but I feel like this whole day was kind of a wash. Yeah, there wasn't really a, a winner today. No, it was windy and it was stressful, but <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't be a winner. So you can come on down to Fieldhouse at the crossover if you guys are interested. And happy holidays from Adelie and I.